Awesome. Hello, everyone. So this is our project, RenFT. Um, RenFT is essentially a protocol layer that enables peer-to-peer -peer renting of ERC721 or non-fungible tokens. So while also generating yield. So essentially what we're trying to do here is um, enable holders of NFTs to actually be able to put them to work and lease them out um, for Ether while also earning interest on their NFTs as well. And then on the flip side, actually allowing users to be able to temporarily rent NFTs that they otherwise don't want to purchase, can't purchase, etc. So I'll let Naz take it away here with the demonstration of our platform. Thank you, Nick. This was very good. So I'll demonstrate how a user would add an NFT to our platform. They would, let me show you how it looks like when you're not connected. It looks like this. You would first connect with MetaMask. This uh, prototype is built on Coven net network. So you need to ensure that you are on Coven. Um, in order to add your NFT to be eligible to rent from our platform, you first connect and then you click lease your NFT. You supply the NFT address over here as well as uh, NFT ID and you specify how many days you'd like um, the person to rent it out for. Um, you then press add, make a bunch of approvals so at, at this point, the transaction is complete and the NFT that I um, owned is now with our smart contract on the rent NFT. It is available for other users to rent it out. We are using Chainlink in this solution to fetch the price of this NFT to be able to calculate an accurate collateral that will take from the user um, that wants to borrow the NFT. Uh, we have... Um, our, the nature of our solution uses Aave and um, and Ch and um, OpenSea and Chainlink and um, Aave and OpenSea do not share a, a common testnet, so we had to, to be creative about it, and we just mocked the OpenSea's response through our own API, and so we are using Chainlink to fetch the price from our mocked mocked um, uh, mocked API. So um, now that we've added the NFT. At this point, we have our um, NFT listed on the platform. It is number four. And if we change the account to someone else, then we'll demonstrate how that someone else can, uh, can rent out that NFT. So here's this beautiful NFT. And we click rent. And there are a bunch of transactions that we need to do beforehand, like approving the spending of our smart contracts to be able to take the collateral die and that is what you've seen just now so we're awaiting for a bunch of transactions to go through and once those are done um our smart contract will will another approval our smart contract will transfer this NFT to the borrower. And at the same time, it will take this collateral and it will invest it with Aave um, for interest generation. And that is what this claim yields uh, button here is for, so that the person that is renting out this NFT are able to click this to claim the, their Aave yield um, at any point in time. So right now the transaction went through and you are able to observe that um, we did indeed uh, took the collateral from the borrower and we've redirected it to die. Mm. And so now we this this account that we are using it now actually has this NFT. Our smart contract uh, sent it through uh, to this account. And so the next logical step um, after some time after they've used this um, NFT. Mm, so if this was an Axie, for example, they could have um, played with that Axie, earned some money, and now they're ready to return it. And so they go back to the platform and they click the return. And so once again, there are a bunch of transactions that we need to approve before it goes through. Yeah, I'll try again, I'll try again. Mm. Now that the transaction has, uh, has completed, we can have a look. Um, uh, on Etherscan that indeed the NFT was returned to the, to the owner and um, so the interest has been split half to the owner and um, half to the, to the borrower.
so uh, Rai is also uh, we are fetching all the blockchain data from uh, graph. So we have our scheme, uh, our graph, sub graph deployed on Coven for Coven contracts, and uh, we all the information here is fetched by the graphs with. Uh, so, in addition to Aave and Chainlink, we are also using uh, graphs to fetch the details. And may I just add to Ross that we also do the same for the dashboard, so that uh, we use graph to fetch the leased NFTs of this account, as well as the rented NFTs, and we have some statistics on this um, uh, screen. Um, 